everybody and welcome to my channel Texas Gal Treasures and in this video I'm going to be talking about British Royal Collectibles. If you've been watching me for any length of time you know that my grandmother was a huge collector and I've slowly been selling off some of her things. Um, I get the question a lot, you make sure you're keeping things that remind you of her. And of course of course, of course I am, but she was a really big collector, and one of the things that she collected a lot of was British royalty memorabilia. So I finally took the plunge and dove into the box and drag it all out, and I wanted to share it with you guys today. But before I get started on the video, I want you to go over there and hit that subscribe button. My channel is all about expanding your knowledge so you can create more opportunities for yourself in order to make more money, whether that be reselling or merch by Amazon. Uh, this, this video is going to be helping us learn what we should or shouldn't pick up when it comes to British memorabilia items because you might come across them and you might be surprised at what might sell and what might not sell and why. Okay, so I am live, so if you're watching later, you can check out the chat. Oh, I meant, I think it's this way. You can check out the chat or if you are watching later and it is on a phone, you can click the chat down below. So that's where that is. Let me go ahead real quick and share my grandmother with you. Um, my grandmother passed away about five years ago. And some of you guys may be familiar with this image of my grandmother. She rode in rodeos in the 40s. Um, she was just a really amazing woman. Um, but one thing that she was really in love with was the queen. So she felt like she felt like she knew her. So I don't know if you guys who <laughs> grandmothers feel this way but they were born in the same year and she just saw so many parallels between her life and the queen um, that she just loved her and she picked up stuff all the time so the first item I'm going to share is actually this this picture was taken if you are in the Houston area this is in the British Isle store um, this actually was the the last year of my grandmother's life um, she picked up this mug while we were there let me flip back to the main screen um, this is one that I'm going to keep because it's uh, sentimental. It was our last trip there together. She couldn't drive the last couple of years of her life, and that was one place she really enjoyed going was the British Isle store. So I would take her there. And so the last thing that she bought that was um, royal memorabilia was this. It was the Diamond Jubilee um, mug that she bought. So this is one that I'll keep just out of sentimental value, but... Um, it's funny because the story I remember about this mug is that there was a pink one, um, a little bit different, and she loved pink. So I, w I was like, Grandmother, you're not getting the pink one? And she was like, no, no, no. Blue is a much more regal color. So she wanted to get the blue one because it was more regal. So this is one that I will be keeping, but I wanted to go ahead and share. I've pulled up some different eBay listings to share with you guys. Um, to let you know. So let me pop that one down. So here's the same mug. This one is in Canada, uh, but this one sold for about 25 bucks in Canada, about 20 bucks in the US. Uh, so something to think about when it comes to some of these memorabilia items for royalty. If you're in the UK, you probably already know this. They're, a lot of them are mass produced. And so they may not be worth as much as you might think because they're produced to create a lot of money um, in, um, in the market. So, oh, I all of this dust from this box, I keep sneezing, so apologies in advance if I start sneezing on you here. Okay, so next up, the next item that I wanted to share with you, and I'll probably flip back and forth so you can see the item really well, um, is this ginger jar. So this, and when I was unpacking the box, I was really worried because I couldn't find the lid. Luckily, the lid was found. So this ginger jar is for Queen Elizabeth's Silver Jubilee. And of course, here comes Mimi. <laughs> she always likes to come and cause wreak havoc. So here's the back. I mean, it's beautiful. And this one is made by Hammersley. There's the crest on the bottom, fine bone china. That really helps when you're looking it up, for sure, having the maker on there, and that's the lid. So it's in really great shape. So let's take a look at what this one would be worth. Um, let's flip it up here. Okay, so I found one. 
I've got so many windows open, you guys, that is here, and it sold for about 15 bucks. So when I when I started doing my research, I was a little bit surprised. I was like, really? Only 15? This thing is cool. Um, because I'm trying to go through this stuff and decide what I want to list. Because my goal was this week, I'm going to take pictures of all this stuff, and I'm going to get it listed. But as I was doing my research, I realized some of this stuff is not worth my time. <laughs> so um, yeah, so I have to decide, you know, is that going to be worth my time? 15 bucks, maybe. But there are some that maybe not. Okay, before I jump on to the next one, let me say hey in the chat because we've got some friends over here. Hello, Real Liquidation and Cindy. Hello, love them anyway. Oh, yes, she says, been binging on jewelry lovers and sellers. I've, uh, we've opened up the group if you're a jewelry lover and wanting to learn more about jewelry. Uh, definitely go over to Facebook and join jewelry lovers. We've opened the group up. I, I started homeschooling, so I couldn't devote as much time to it. Apologies if you're here and you're just wanting... <laughs> British memorabilia stuff. We're a very community-oriented channel around here, so I talk to people. You can see what they're saying over over there, I think. Um, <laughs> someone says, I can't say your name. I'm sure I'm going to say it wrong. Finally caught you live and you aren't talking about jewelry. I, I just want to, I mean, my whole thing is like, is, is expanding knowledge. If you notice, I changed my banner on my channel because I was like, well, what is it, and what do I want to incorporate? You know, I really... It is all about just the more you know, the better you can do. And so I wanted to incorporate that and, and continue sharing like, you never know. If you're out in the wild and you see something British memorabilia, you'll know like, oh, it may look really old and you think, yes, this is going to be a score. And then you get it home and you're like, oh, no. Um, okay, so let's move on to the next item. The next item that I want to share, this one is a queen mother. So this is Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, and this was to commemorate her, um, it says her 100th birthday. So there is her 100th birthday, and this is a Royal Crown Duchy, Fine Bone China. And so let's take a look. I found one of these on eBay that sold, and it sold for $35.99. So now... Now, is this one sold or not? I don't think this one is sold. Let's see if I can scooch. I may disappear for a moment while I look. I tried to make sure I was looking at sold. I may not have found a sold one of this. So let's see. No, I didn't see one that sold. So again, I was only looking on eBay. Um, there may be others that are up on Etsy and things like that. But with that being the only one that I'm seeing for $35, this would be one that would be worth my time <laughs> listing, right? So this is one that I will take the time to photograph and list um, in my shop. Hang on. Oh, because I'm trying to mess with the wrong thing. There we go. Scooch it over. So there's that. Um, I think it's a little more obscure, maybe, is why it, it's doing better. Because there's saturated. I mean, the queen is, it's, <laughs> it's like saturation mode. Sorry if I disappear for a second. Um, let's see. I'm such a teacher, Diane says. It's so true. Uh, but I'm, I'm really passionate about it, that's for sure. Okay, next, I'm over here. I'm still here. Um, I have this mug. This one is an Alfred Meekin England mug. Let me flip back over so you can see it better. And this one is the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II. So this is back when she was coronated. And it's not fine bone china. It's, you know, you can see it's a little bit thicker. It's more like a, it's getting closer to that like ceramic mug type um, deal. So, oh yes, I did. <laughs> She's asking, did you call your grandmother grandmother? Absolutely. It was, it was very formal. It was grandmother and it was ma'am and yes ma'am. And it was, you know, but not in a cold way. <laughs> But yeah, she was she was very sophisticated and proper, and she, we called her grandmother. Even my boys called her grandmother. So now when my dad refers to my mom as their grandmother, well, you know your grandmother. And they're like, she's not my grandmother. That's Mama May, because they call my mom Mama May. But my grandmother was not about to have nanny or nana or grandma or anything that sound countrified, Mima. You know, I think she'd had enough of country <laughs> growing up. So, 
yeah, she wasn't going back to the country. <laughs> anyway, um, so this mug, back on track, <laughs> um, this one I saw, this, and you see here, they even, they even say it's a ceramic rather than a, because I get that question a lot. How do you know if it's porcelain versus ceramic? Well, it has to do with the, real fast, real fast. See, you can see the difference. Like this is a fine burn china, more of a porcelain. You can see it's way thinner, more delicate. This one is a thicker, heavy duty or feeling. You know, this one would feel more, a lot of times with the ceramic, they're more translucent as well. So like this one is a, a nice bone china one. You're not going to be able to see that because the light's going the other way. But when I hold it like this, I can see the silhouette silhouette through. I can see the silhouette through there. You can kind of see it. See how you can see her through that? Through the porcelain? <laughs> but you, on this one, there's no, there's no way that you're going to see through that. It's, it's solid. Okay. <laughs> Mini lesson. There we go. It's a teachable moment, right? That's what we call it in the classroom. Um, so this one I'm seeing for, and this was a sold listing for $24.99. So this might be one that I set aside to list. Why is this one doing better than some of the others that I've got? I don't know. I couldn't figure this one out. So this one I'm not sure, but that price point is one that I'm comfortable with. I know, Diana. I've got lots here to share so okay the next one that I've got I'll try to go a little quicker for friends that are here that are not wanting just to chat so all right the next one I've got is a much smaller size almost like a child size mug of Queen Elizabeth's coronation this one didn't have a maker so it was really hard to look up I didn't find it so I'm on the fence about that because normally when I cannot find an item I get excited and I'm like, yay, I can't find this. It's probably going to be worth more. But when it comes to this, I'm not so sure about that, you know? Let's see. Oh, no, I've got the wrong one pulled up now. So I'm not so sure because I, I don't know how someone, if someone just typed in Queen Elizabeth coronation mug, I mean, I could say, you know, child size, and that might do it. But I don't know. So this one is a question mark. I'm thinking probably not going to be worth a ton. Again, it's the ceramic style. It's not fine porcelain or bone china or anything like that. So, okay, next. Uh, I've got some more friends in the chat. I know she was so young. Um, so, okay, let me see how many friends are over there in the, because I can't see on this how many I've got. 39 people. Yay, go over there and hit the thumbs up. Two people hate the queen. How dare you? <laughs> okay, moving on. We have got another mug. This one is from the marriage of Prince Charles and Prince or Diana, Lady Diana, who became Princess Diana. So there's that. And you might think, oh, that's worth something because there's a lot of history to do with that. So let's find out what this mug has been selling for on eBay, or is up for, rather. So, I see one here for $27.99. These are not sold. Um, here's a pair for $29.99. I didn't see any solds on this one. So, this one is a maybe um, on whether I'll list it or not. Let me come over and click on solds and see real fast. Uh, no. See, I don't, I mean, that's the thing too. Like, do I see a lot sold? How long am I going to have to sit on this mug? I don't know. So it's something to consider. It's, this one's a maybe for me. Um, we, we had a garage sale today uh, and yesterday, and we're probably going to have another one. So I'm trying to decide if some of these will end up, I mean, sadly, maybe in, a, in the garage sale. But if they're not, I mean, that's the thing. People collect all kinds of things. And sometimes they're worth money, and sometimes they're not worth money. Another thing my grandmother collected were, um, dolls and some of them are worth money and some of them are not they may have been eighty dollars when she bought them you know some of the Madame Alexanders but now they're worth fifteen dollars and that's just the market it's just the way it is right okay let's see hello hello in the chat happy Saturday yes yes the wedding and you would think with all of the hub I mean the, the royal family is in the news all the time with their marriages and their babies and everything so yeah, it's it's incredible. Okay, next up, 
we have got this one is much older and this one is Edward Edward the eighth oh thank you ramble on rescues for that super chat she says or he she says thank you for all the great content you've helped me break into new niches hit the like button people thank you very much for that okay so bonus question here's your history lesson Edward the eighth why is this so special? Um, what do you think? Do you know anything about Edward VIII? Dun dun dun! He had a famous marriage too. But to whom? And why is it so special? So let's take a look at this mug while I wait for those answers to come in. Roll into the chat and you're just like right on top of your <laughs> British royal history. So here we go. Edward VIII's coronation mug. This mug, where I know I saw one on here. Oh uh, gosh, now I've lost it. Well, I see some kind of all over the board. 25 bucks now, are these sold? Uh, these are not sold, so let me pull up the sold real fast. Because, okay. So here's one that sold for 29.99, This one was six, this one was 12. That one's similar, that one that says $12 right there. Um, of course, it was on auction, which I don't generally do. So, but at twelve bucks seventeen, oh, that one's really similar next to that seventeen ninety nine. There, um, so this one is a maybe, and this is one that I would have thought would have been a home run. And the reason I would have thought this would have been a home run is because let me check in the chat and see if they got it. Yes, you guys know. Okay, he never got coronated. His he never was coronated. Is that a word? Coronated coronation. The coronation didn't happen. He never became. I guess he was king, but he wasn't coronated. How does that work? I don't know. Anyway, he abdicated the throne to his brother, and he married an American divorcee, Wallace Simpson. And it was a big scandal. And it was, yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, so lots of people know. That marriage was actually discussed in a really awesome jewelry book called Stoned, Murphy the Esky says. Oh, awesome. He was king for a month. Yeah, it was so quick, right? So there's a lot of history, and so I was like, oh, that's got to be a home run for that one, right? Um, let's see. So I pulled it up, and here is a picture of him, King uh, Edward the Eighth, King of the Yeah. So he was king for like a month, but he was never coronated, right? Okay, he abdicated the throne, and his brother was thrust into the spotlight. Yeah, <laughs> and there have been tons of movies and shows made about it. And his brother had a really bad stammer, and oh yeah, okay. So, anyway, yeah, I know, it's exciting, right? <laughs> if you are a British, uh, yeah, you know this already. Okay, so next up, but not everybody over here knows. <laughs> so here's another one. This one is, you know, it's not as flashy. It's got the, the crown and the rose, and this one is made by Caverswall. And this one shows the line of succession. So this is for the birth of Prince William of Wales. So this was a commemorative cup for his birth. I did not, or did I see this one? Right, he was a handsome devil, right? <laughs> okay, so now this one, you know, I'm looking at some other ones. I was looking for this mug and the success, su succession, order of succession, and that William was born. So. Um, I didn't see this one on eBay, but I know I pulled it up. Did I not? Okay, I must have closed that out. Uh, again, I don't, it wasn't worth a lot when I searched it. I think I found it, oh, I closed that out. Darn it. Um, yeah, anyway. So, that's probably one that won't end up getting listed. I'll double check again. Um, oh, cool, Jennifer, thanks. Let's see. Oh, thanks, she. Okay, Ramble on Rescue says. All right, let me see in the chat if I missed anything out. Yes, okay, good, 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 yeah. That was your favorite cup by far. Oh, cool. Okay, so next, where am I? Next up, I've got another one. This one is to commemorate the 40th anniversary of the Queen. And so it's just this with her photo on the front. And then another description on the back and this one I don't think I found either so again it's one of those things when I don't find it normally I get excited I'm like yay I'm gonna list it for high 
but sometimes it's like, well, I don't know who made this mug. Oh, wait, no, Royal Crown Duchy. Yeah, that's ha -ha, right there on the bottom, Margaret. So this one is kind of similar here. This one is up, and it's got more of a bulbous bottom on there. Um, bulbous bottom, oh, yes. $31.99, but I didn't see this particular one. This one is similar again, too, $9.99, but not exactly the same. So, again, I, I'm not sure. Some of them, I'm just not sure. I, I want to... I want to say, you know, if I'm going to take the time to photograph and list it, I want it to be $15 and $20 at least, maybe maybe more. So, yeah. All right, here's another one that is not one that I see a whole lot. This is Stratfordshire, and this one is not the fine bone china. It's more like ceramic. And this one is for the marriage of Princess Anne to mark somebody i don't know who she's mark phillips sorry <laughs> i just don't know so that you know you don't see a whole lot with princess anne on it so there's her on the back <clears throat> pardon me so let's see um what i found out about this one i i'm trying to remember if i saw this one or not so oh here it is okay so about yeah 624 971 this is probably not going to be worth my time listing. Poor thing didn't even get fine bone china. Sorry. <laughs> You're too far down the line of succession. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> so this is probably one that I will not take the time to photograph and list. Okay, next are some posters. Maybe you've had, had enough with mugs for right now. There'll be more. Just wait. My grandmother loved them. But I've got coasters. So here we have the coasters to commemorate the wedding of Prince William to Catherine Middleton. And I didn't find these exact ones either. <laughs> I didn't find this, this one either. I found similar coasters, but not these particular ones. So let me pop this up. Mm, now where did they go? So I saw these where they're like kissing, but these ones sold new in the package and they're cute and round. They look, oh, these are China plates, aren't they? Okay. Um, oh, are these not coasters? Bone China plates. Wait a minute. I need coasters. Maybe that's why. Are they calling them something else? If you're in the UK, do you not call these coasters? What do you call them? Because that's what I thought I was looking at. All right, let's look at solds real quick. <clears throat> Yeah, it says Bone China Plate Royal. Okay. So, question mark on this. I don't know. Too new. Yeah, they're, they're new. And there were probably about 10 billion of these made for the royal wedding. So, yeah, these will probably not get listed, even though I don't see them up there. So, I may do a little bit more digging and see what I see because I didn't. What else do you call them? They're not on there. Okay, Elizabeth, hi from the UK. Do you, do you call these coasters to put your drink on? And, I mean, is that against the royal family, like to put something on their face? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe they don't care. Okay, next up. Hello, hello. Okay, go over there and hit the thumbs up, everybody. Oh, we now have three people who hate the queen. That's horrible. That's terrible. <laughs> That's okay. We'll show her more love. <laughs> next, let's see, where am I? I can't remember. I started piling things up. Okay, the next one is, this is a vintage mug. Again, I didn't know the maker. The style is very unusual. And this is Queen Elizabeth II. I have to say, it doesn't look a ton like her. I don't think. Even when she was young, right? Maybe it's just me. I I don't know. Okay, so, but I did find this mug. So here it is. And this one was up for $15 Canadian. So about $10 or $11 US. That was the only one I found on eBay. So I don't know if I'm going to take the time to list it. Um, oh, yeah, Mary, my grandmother. She had quite the collection of many things <laughs> for sure. So there's that. This can come down here now. The next thing that we've got, 
I think, too, you know, she didn't have a lot growing up. You know, she grew up in the Depression. Her dad worked in the oil fields. They lived in an oil camp for a long time. They were hit pretty hard by the Depression. So I think, you know, a lot of people that grew up in the Depression, they wanted nice things, they, and they kept everything. So that's where we're, that's what we're working with. Drink mats. Okay, I may have to look the <laughs> drink mats up. Okay, so this is another one that is British pottery, which means it's more like a ceramic rather than a bone china. And this is the coronation of King George the Sixth to Queen Elizabeth, which is was the Queen Mother, right? So there's that. And he is the one that took over when his brother abdicated the throne. So there's this. Does that have a date? Yeah, 1937. Right there. So let's see what we have here. Now I've got one here. This was not sold. So there was there are two listed for 1385. So this is one that I would have thought if I saw it out, like, wow, that's awesome. That's gonna be something really cool but not maybe not as much so scrolling down scrolling down hmm not not a lot yeah yeah Diana says my grandmother was like that too she loved her dolls yeah I think I mean I wonder too like is it because growing up in the depression they didn't get that they didn't get to you know it's like people now buying their childhood back and buying games and toys that they had when they when they were younger well you know when my grandmother was younger, there may have been dolls and things that she thought were fancy that she wanted. You know what I mean? I don't know. She's not here for me to ask her, unfortunately. So this is one that, again, I thought was going to be more of a a wow, and it it didn't end up being. So, yeah, it's really vintage. It's got the crazing on there and everything. You can see the crazing under the finish. Okay. Next up, we've got a few more mugs, and then we've got some tins, which are good. And then I watched a video that somebody else created that I'll share with you guys. Okay, so next up, this is kind of funny and cute, is a thimble, right? So it's a thimble with the royal family, and it's for, you know, the birth of Harry. But what I think is so cute is that my grandmother wrote everybody's names. Like, we, we're not going to know who these people are. It's, a, it's Queen Elizabeth and Princess Diana and all the people. Like, she wrote out everybody's names. Like, yes. <laughs> In case we forget, it was like Aunt Edith and <laughs> Mabel, her crazy cousin. No. <laughs> anyway, so I was like, oh, that's sweet. But let's take a look at, at what this goes for. So here's one selling for $15.99. And that was the only one I saw on eBay. So that might, I mean, it's small. So that, for me, it's like, okay, I'll probably sell that. Because it's small and, look at that. Oh, brother. <laughs> okay. So, cool. I know, right, Mary? Aw. Um, next. Uh, let me know, guys, if I'm going too fast for you. Uh, let's see. Coronation. Okay. The next one, she kept the the price on them. And I couldn't, I, I couldn't find these online so i'll have to do a little more digging these ones are for the coronation of george and queen elizabeth so it's a creamer and a sugar and she paid 75 dollars for the pair from an antique booth apparently um i don't i can kind of make out who it on who made it on here it's really hard to read it looks like it says grind or grind something I can't really read it. So if you know, let me know. Can you see that? Okay. So, um, I, I, okay, here's the thing on these. I know these are not like hand painted and fancy because you can see where there's like a mess up on the decal right there that they put on. I mean, so you know these are mass produced because you can see here where there's like an oopsie where it's Eliza. Oops, we messed up on the sticker part. And it's not messed up on this one. You know, it's supposed to go straight across and say her name, Queen Elizabeth. And this one has got an oops on it. I'm trying to get them where you can see both. Queen Elizabeth. Hold still. There we go. You can kind of see them side by side. Um, 
So I don't know. Grimwalds, is that right? But it doesn't look like an M. Maybe it is. I don't know. I'll have to dig Grim Wade. Okay. Huh. Maybe the, the cat's agreeing with you. Okay. So I'm going to have to dig a little deeper because I couldn't find this exact one. So let me show you what I've got. This I don't know what he's fussing about. Um, yeah, so these are ones that I, because I can't find them, I'll probably end up listing because I, yeah, because I can't find them in there. They're a little cooler. Pancake, what's the problem? Was this me? Oh, this was me searching. I was like, let me just Google it. I think there's something wrong with my cat. He's just fussing. Listen to him. Okay, I'm going to put these down. Next. <laughs> what do I have next? If he was close by, I could... Oh, I just closed out of something I didn't need to. Ah, hang on. Let me see if I can pop that back up. I closed the wrong thing. Darn it. Okay, I think I got it. I saved it. Okay, so next up... Where did it go? Oh, goodness. Listen to him. Ah, uh, okay. I've gotten out of order. Oh, wait, here we go. Okay. Is this the right one? Oh, here we go. Okay. I closed the window and then I. Grimwades, Dave says. Cat! And he's not where I can reach him either. I spray him. He does not do this normally. Anyway. Okay, so next up, again, we've got King Edward VIII, who. Wait, I get them mixed up. Is he the one that advocated? I get them mixed up. Okay, so here we go. 1937. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So let's take a look at this one. Your cat just ran into the room to investigate. I don't know what is the matter with him. He does it sometimes when he can't find his sister, so he's probably fussing because he can't find her. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I... No, he's not. He, he's just being weird. <laughs> Dave's like, maybe he's injured. Do you want to go check? No, I think he's okay. Should I? Should I go check? Or hungry? They're always hungry. Okay, now you're making me worry. Okay, I'm going to go look real fast. <laughs> talk about, talk about Edward while I'm gone. <laughs> Fine. He's just being a pancake. Okay, pancake is fine. See, <laughs> he's totally fine. <laughs> he was just being pancake. Okay. <laughs> so this was one that I also couldn't find. This is one I couldn't find. There's no maker on the bottom. <laughs> Pardon. Sorry, guys. I had to go check. Y'all, y'all got me worried. That was him. All right, so mm, I don't know. I couldn't find one just like this, so normally that means I want to list it, but the prices on the ones that I do see are not amazing, so that makes me not want to list it. So I've just got to make a decision about about this one. Oh, the cat is, you know, he, he likes to torment Leia. So that may be what he was doing. He was probably hunting for her because he, he chases her all over the house, poor thing. Okay, the next up is this little tumbler. And this one's the Silver Jubilee, but this is for King George and Mary. This is from the, this is the Queen Mother. So from before. And I couldn't find this one either. So King George Silver Jubilee Tumbler, I called it a tumbler. Again, couldn't find it, but the ones I did see, well, okay, not so bad. 40, 33, 
let's see if I had another one that I pulled up. I was searching again. I thought, well, let me Google search it and see. Um, so there's one similar-ish, and that's on Etsy. Let's click that one. And, oh, $5 on that one, or one that was like it. So, I don't know. I don't know. 17 but that one's got a different picture. <laughs> so, no, Cindy, these are my grandmother's. Yeah. Did I go to the Queen's yard sale? Okay. Um, wait, is that it? No, close. Did I click it? Maybe I already clicked this one. Okay. Trying, trying to find it, but to no avail. All right, next up, we've got a couple more mugs and then tins. And then we'll call it. Oh, and then I'll share what, uh, what's maybe to look for, rather. So this is a Royal Crown Duchy, and it's got a pedestal base, but commemorative beaker, oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so here we go. This one is the crest on it, it's very ornate, and then the back, it is to commemorate Queen Elizabeth II, like so, the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II. I begin to wonder, you know, if it's like when I find Harry Potter stuff out in the wild, you know, at thrift stores or wherever garage sales, I always pick it up. So I'm wondering, like, was she the same way about <laughs> royal memorabilia stuff? She just couldn't leave it behind, right? That, I think that's kind of where this was going. So, um, again, I didn't, wait, I know I saw this one because I saw it in a pair. So I didn't see it on eBay, but I did see it, here we go. So it was on Pick Click, which is not a site that I'm on, but there were the pair of this one with another one for, drum roll, $9.40 for the pair of them. So probably not one that I'm gonna take the time for listing, even though it is very pretty and ornate. So, so far there's only been a handful of things that I have found in the grouping that that I wanted to spend the time to list. But it makes, honestly, it kind of made it a little easier for me to, because we still have a storage locker full of stuff, so it made it a little easier for me to want to go up there and tackle another box or two, because it's, uh, yeah. Dave says, you should see our charity shop for royal stuff. I don't think she would have made it out of there <laughs> if she had gone in. <laughs> so, okay, next up, let's see what I have next I can show you. It is, Oh, is it Prince William Potter? This is this one, right? This? Yes, this one. Okay. So this one, where it is Prince William Pottery, it's got the little emblem on it, and it's the queen. And this, again, is a more ceramic, where it's like that thick. She paid five fifty dollars at the British Isle store for it. And I, I didn't see this mug, but I think I saw it on a plate. The same image. Here we go. So plate, $8.99. So probably going to be one that I end up um, either selling in the garage sale or, or donating. He's at it again. Y'all saw. He's not hurt. I'm not neglecting my cats. She would have made it out with a, yeah. She would have, the charity would have been <laughs> writing him a letter of thanks in the paper for it, for it, yeah. Okay, so two more mugs, and then we'll, we've got a couple other things. This one's a little different. This is King Edward II and Queen Alexandra, so a little bit older, right? Again, no maker. Yes, Dave, there's a British Isle store in Houston, for sure. My grandmother loved it. She loved it. We would make a day of it. We would go down there, go to the British Isle store, go have lunch. Yeah, we usually, we would go to the, there was a like a British style pub called the Black Lab. We would go to the Black Lab. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, let's see. We already did this one. Okay, this is one that, again, I couldn't find. Again, really ornate. We've had a couple that were made just like this. I have no idea where she got it. Um, but I'll probably end up listing this one because the, the things I'm seeing, because it's a bit older, King Edward and Queen Alexander, it's a bit older. I don't find as much, and then the things that I do find, you're right, it is, somebody else called it a beaker when I called it a tumbler. So maybe I ought to go in there and find, um, do you get served tea 
at the at the black lab i guess if you wanted it but they had it's more beer and stuff it's more like pub food um okay so let's see oh here's what oh here it is okay i didn't see that down there so 43 dollars. So this is one that i will spend the time to list oh yeah she did too and my granny who is my my dad was born in london if you guys don't know my granny was a war bride and so she loved those McVitie's big time. Um, anyway, <laughs> next we've got, is this right? Okay, we've got one more mug and then we'll move on from there. One more mug. And this one I couldn't find. Well, I found it, but it was on Worth Point. So this is the mug, oops, upside down. Adam's Real English Ironstone, it says. And it says, Jubilee greetings, the pearly kings and queens of London. Da -da. And what that refers to, I don't know. So I knew this style was worth more, Mary says. Yay. Um, digestive biscuits, not cookies. But they taste like cookies. <laughs> okay, so this one, I didn't find... Um, anyway, so I found a Pinterest pin, but it didn't lead to any links. The other one I found was on Worth Point. It says rare. So if you're on Worth Point, I would love to know if this is worth me listing or not. Because I didn't find it anywhere else. So it very well could be rare and not worth anything. So, so if you are, let me know. But it's cute, right? It has a, almost like an Edward Gorey look to it to me, right? Where is English Tom? I don't know where Tom is. He's probably live streaming on his gaming channel because he was on there forever yesterday. <laughs> I'm teasing, but he was. <laughs> okay, next up is, this is really cool. Okay. This is a pink tea tin, like so. Silver Jubilee, Queen Elizabeth II. Um, I only saw one of these, and I know this was one of my grandmother's prized pieces shoot one it was pink she loved pink and it was the queen and it was really ornate and fancy looking so i found the only one i found was up on etsy and the shop is on oh did he really <laughs> um was on etsy and this shop is on vacation right so here it is from etsy so i don't know what the seller has it for but it might be one that I just kind of hang on to for a bit because I know, just like the mug um, that we got the last trip to the British Isles I'm going to keep, um, this is one that I know was one of her more favorite pieces from the collection. So this may be one that I end up keeping and putting my own treasures in. I need more stuff, apparently. I need more stuff. So this will probably end up just staying with me. I, it'll be one of those that I might regret. Yeah. Good at the, yeah, I haven't watched that one, Dave. Dave's saying that Tom just did a. I'm gonna I'm gonna read the abbreviation D H of the week. So <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, Americans love our royals. I think they there's a name for it, right? Ang Anglophile is that right? Is that the right word for it? I believe. I do believe. Okay, so next up, there's a couple more things. We've got four more things. We've got another tea tin, and this one is for the marriage of Prince Charles and Lady Diana. And also, Dave, a lot of, you know, like my granny, who was a transplant, you know, she had a ton, like her whole mantle was all sorts of, you know, British memorabilia and little, like, double-decker bus, you know, all kinds of stuff she had up there. So, all right. So here's this T10. And this one, I know a lot of people um, that, that like to sell T10s. If you, I don't know if Cauldron of Collectibles is making videos anymore. But they like to pick up tea tins a lot, so check out their channel. They pick up a lot of tins. So this was twelve ninety nine. Uh, I mean, it's a, it's a maybe on selling. Here's another one, eleven thirty nine. Okay, pancake, we still hear you. Don't worry. Yeah, you're a fussy boy. Okay, so this one is. Uh, it might end up just in the garage sale because, but I have to think about. Okay, if I'm gonna list this, and it's the one I see up there is eleven ninety nine. I have to take into account my time. I, you know, I'm gonna take pictures of it, and or I can sell it, you know, for five bucks in the garage sale. Maybe I'll get that. We'll see. Um, 
Dave says, what about royals in magazines, newspapers? My dad kept stuff like that. She would, my granny would do clippings. My grandmother, not so much. My granny would like have clippings and things that she would clip out of the paper. Is that funny? Maybe that's a, maybe that's a British granny thing. Um, I don't know. So, okay, next up is, wait a minute. I don't think, oh, this is a tray. Okay, oh darn, I now I've lost it because I had it on the right thing. Like, wait a minute. Okay, th the next item is a tray, and it's from the Royal Visit to Canada. So it's got the Canadian leaf, Royal Visit to Canada, June 1959. And again, this one is being sold on eBay Canada for $12.83. So, I don't know. I mean, part of me is like, that's like still a good six dollar profit or more you know maybe if it's 12 maybe a nine dollar profit i mean so that's good yeah oh she would have loved the crown right well yeah she would have so i don't know i'm on the fence because to me it's like i see the profit but then it's i'm trying to value my time as well mm, it's so hard to choose you have to let me know what you think let me know what your price point is. If you're watching later, leave a comment in the chat or leave a comment in the comment section later. And what would be your like price? Like, where's the line? Like, what would you decide? Like, if you knew that you didn't find any solds, you see one up for eleven dollars and something cents, what would it have to be? What would your profit margin have to be to list something, right? Why not make a grouping to sell? That's a possibility. I never do very well with lots, though. Personally, I don't. Worth Point has the wedding tin for 26 bucks. Oh, wow. Okay. I might make my make it worth my time. So, yeah, let me know what would your line be. Because when I first started reselling, $5 was my, like, I had to at least make $5 or more. But now I've got so much stuff. I don't know. I don't. And then part of me says, well, I can share the wealth if I donate it or I put it in the garage sale, then somebody else who's doing this might have something and be excited about selling it. He's just in there wreaking havoc. He's like a little anarchist. Yeah. Listen to him. Okay. Next up is another tray. This one is a pin dish for Charles and Diana. Let me pop that open for you. Oh, that's that again. Um, so it's a little pin dish, and I know I found this. Where did it go? There it is. So I found one on eBay, and it was a pound, and it didn't it didn't sell. It did not sell. Are there any Brit local Brit loving groups? You know what I could do? Because there is a local garage sale, like Facebook garage sale group that I'm in. I could just put a, a number on the lot that you know, pick out the pieces I want. And then create a lot on there and be like, okay, sell it that way. Because, yeah, share the wealth. <laughs> oh, my gosh, Dave. <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't know. Um, 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 okay. Next, this is, I think, the last thing we've got here. Sell them back to the British house shop. They know what they're doing. They're selling, not buying. <laughs> they sell the memorabilia. I doubt he's buying it. There's a reason he lives in America. <laughs> okay, the next one I couldn't find. But I have a feeling just from the packaging that it's... But this one is like a, a tea tray type dish. Here, we'll close. Uh-oh, I'm trying to close out the wrong thing. Let me get... Here, let's pop grandmother back up with the queen. So it's this, Springdale China Products. And you can see it's like a, a saucer for a teacup to go on. Again, the face. Like, that would be weird to me. <laughs> you know, but then all along the edges, it's like herbs, names of herbs, marjoram, parsley, etc., etc. I, I don't know. I couldn't find this one. Um, they would have been worth a lot more if they were hand painted. Oh yeah, for sure. A lot of them are like the decals that have been painted on and stuff, mass produced. So I watched a video before this because I was trying to figure it out myself. Oh, 65 viewers, go over there and hit the thumbs up. And it was interesting. Oh, did I close it out? I was determined to not close it out because I wanted to share it with you. 
Hang on. Maybe I just have so many vid Oh, nope, nope. There it is. I have so many tabs and things open. There's a channel. Let me see if I can get this up on the right one. And he talks about what kind of things to buy. That's the chat. There it is. Um, so this is, the channel is called, here, scoot it over. Bash the like button, Dave says. The channel is called PF Collectibles, and the video they did was called Royal Collectibles. Well, like about halfway through, they spend about half the time talking about all the royals, blah, blah, blah. It's really interesting. And then later on, it talks about, you know, how, sooner or later. okay, let's just mute that, um, how they're mass produced, you know, like this, when you see it like this, you're like, whoa, okay, I'm really uh, maybe <laughs> fighting a losing battle trying to get a really high price. So it, it was interesting. And he talks in that bit video about what kind of things would sell well. So something to worth, worth going to peek peek at. And again, it's more towards the end of the video where he gets into that. Um, hey, Swamp Peeker, how's it going, Glenn? Yeah, okay. So let me know in the comments section, what would your price break be? Like what what is your go-to, this has to be my profit. Is it five bucks? Is it 10 bucks? Is it anything you can turn a profit on? Because I'm kind of torn, like where do I draw the line with, my time, if I don't see that a lot of them are selling, I know I'm going to hold on to it for a while. If it's 25 bucks, am I willing to hold on to it a lot longer? Yeah, I don't know. Um, so yeah, let me know what yours is. And if you are, I know it might sound cheesy, but if you are interested in expanding your knowledge and creating more opportunities for yourself, subscribe to this channel because I share lots of videos sharing different ways to make money and knowledge so when you're out there and you're wanting to go to garage sales and thrift stores and pick things up to resell you are armed with knowledge <laughs> okay uh heather says i can't wait for prince harry and megan's wedding i know that's that's a whole big like i, I yeah i wonder how that went down <laughs> right <laughs> okay thanks everybody so much for coming to hang out live and again you can catch the live chat i think it's that on that side uh, and if you're interested in catching me live hit the little bell next to the subscribe button or go over and join international league of thrifters or my facebook page texas gal treasures because i frequently usually will post in the group uh, before i go live so there's that all right garage sale is a buck online local group for go yeah this is true mary so i may try that i may because there may be somebody in the local group that has a grandmother like mine that would just go bananas for it, right? And would make great Christmas presents or birthday presents for, because if I saw that, I might think, oh, I might pick that up for my grandmother, from, you know, save it for Christmas. So yeah, okay. Um, okay, says so Bob does the listing, not less than $15 profit. Oh, that's what Heather says. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I mean, it's just interesting. Everybody has a different, everybody has a different, what's the word I'm looking for business model right and there are unfortunately there are some youtubers that are hard on that like or just put people down for what I, I don't know I mean like, everybody has their own reason for what they do and if they if they're happy with what they're making and what they're doing then then more power to them they're not hurting me and they're not hurting you so who cares um so yeah here's that okay Again, I would love to have you subscribe. More videos coming. The next one, the next batch of stuff, I'm gonna go through some more at the storage locker, but I've got like a bin of like, like Cupid dolls. They're not all real Cupid dolls. There's like Cupid dolls, there's bisque dolls that look like Cupid dolls. So I wanted to go through those and share those too. So if you ever see stuff like that out, you'll know what an actual Cupid doll is and what these kind of older bisque porcelain things go for. Okay. All right. So subscribe and you'll get to see it. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks again for coming by.